You're watching the 2024 SCAC Softball Media Days. Today, we're taking a look at the University of Dallas softball program. The Crusaders will once again be led as they head into the season of the guidance of head coach Christian Novak, along with the leadership from junior Lizette Sosa. And Coach Lizette, thanks so much for joining us today. Thanks for having us. Coach, we'll get started with you heading into your fourth season there at the helm of the University of Dallas softball program. Just sort of take me through what you've learned over the course of your previous three seasons, how excited you are uh, to be back here to start your fourth year, and just what makes preseason uh, this time of the year so special to be back with the group. Yeah, so um, going into my fourth season, this is the first time I've had all of my own recruits. Um, so everybody has sat across from me at a table where I have laid out you know, this is where we want this program to go. Do you want to be a part of, you know, creating change and helping build a program to the point of success? And um, so I think there's a lot of buy-in from, from the team. There's a lot of, we're going to do this a lot less. Can we do this? And uh, we have a really great group of leaders. Uh, I've got four four juniors that, that are kind of taking charge and a few sophomores that are really stepping up too. I've got 17 newcomers. And so that's um, in itself going to be a little bit of a challenge, but um, we've learned a lot over the last two years, having a big group of underclassmen, how to navigate that, how to make them as prepared as possible. And then ultimately using preseason as a time to test lineups and to see, you know, who's going to, rise to the occasion because we see a lot of really great things in practice and so how do we translate that into a game and um, again create the best atmosphere for success within this specific group uh, so Lizette, uh, heading into your junior season, uh, you came and bursted onto the scene your first year and, and really uh, made headway within that lineup. Last season, battling through some injuries, now coming back, as I mentioned, for your junior year. Coach talked about that leadership group that you're a part of with this junior class. You know, how has your uh, your battle with injury gone? How are you feeling just from, from a health standpoint? How excited are you to be back uh, within this group? And, and just kind of talk a little bit about maybe the transition that you've seen within your role on this team. Coach talked about that leadership uh, group with your junior class and, and just, you know, in general, how excited you'd be back with this team and ready to roll for a new season. Um, so yes, coming back from an injury, um, it taught me a lot. It taught me sometimes it's important to just be a teammate to cheer on and that is your job. And I think based on that knowledge and that experience, it has taught me that energy and excitement is imperative for this team to succeed. And that is something that I want to uh, bring forward as a junior and upperclassman to make this team succeed. Um, but overall, health-wise, I'm fully back. I'm very excited. Um, just hoping we have a really good season. Coach, you look at this lineup and a season ago, it, you know, it was really a little bit of baptism by fire, if you will. Uh, you returned seven of your top eight uh, hitters in terms of hits from a season ago, your top four. And amongst that, a number of freshmen, sophomores that are now, you know, sophomores and juniors and have that year of, um, you know, experience uh, as well as, you know, building it, it within their confidence. Kind of talk about this group uh, led by uh, all SEC performer from a season ago and Mariah Hinosa. Uh, she she returns after leading this group and hits a, a season ago. What do you see from this lineup, and how excited are you for them to kind of take that year of experience and roll that in to hopefully build their confidence coming into to this for most of them their their sophomore and junior season? Yeah, so I've actually with with my returners, I've seen a lot more uh, kind of calmness about their approach at the plate recently. And obviously, we haven't played any outside competition at this point, but within our inner squads and even just practices, they seem a lot more focused and understanding of what's expected of them at the plate and building a plan as opposed to going up and just free swinging because that's what they were able to get by with in, in high school and select ball. Um, but I think that's the biggest thing that we needed to learn last year entering conference play and had to learn a little bit trial and error as opposed to, you know, just being really prepared for it because they had never seen it before. And the analogy I use is I can tell you it's raining outside and you might go, huh, is it? But if you see it's raining outside, then you know it's raining outside. Um, and so that's kind of what, what I've been saying is, you know, you have to see it for yourselves sometimes in order to really let it click. And so with my, my returners, I am really seeing some of that, just it's clicking a little bit better. And they're able to help our newcomers and our freshmen into a place where they seem a little bit more prepared as well. Um, there's a lot of communication between them and, um, you know, we are returning our top hitters and 
I think that we have some freshmen that are making case to start as well. And um, again, that's what we use the preseason for to see who's going to trans translate that stuff into um, a game experience. But you know, I'm really excited about, about the way our hitting should be and, and we should still be pretty fast. So. Was that you look at your career, nearly a 230 career hitter. Uh, as I mentioned, your freshman year really burst onto the scene with over 20 hits, uh, now uh, approaching that 30 career hit mark, scoring nearly 20 runs uh, in your career as well. Just sort of take me through uh, what you've worked on through the course of the offseason coming back from injury as far as your approach at the plate and some specific things that you've worked on this summer uh, that helped you know build your confidence uh, coming into your junior season. Um, over the summer, I really wanted to sit down and reflect on what I was strong at and what I was weak at. Um, obviously, just working on the stuff that made me strong. But um, for my weak stuff, I really wanted to focus on my pop time, making my arm stronger for behind the plate, also working on blocking and being louder on the field. Um, hitting wise, um, I think that just hitting every single day, um, and I really did. I <laughs> I was in that cage um, almost every single day uh, during off season, um, just coming back, seeing the ball, um, off the bat, um, so that way I'm getting back into it, making my thumb stronger, um, just doing anything that I could possibly can do um, to help this team out this season. Coach, Sunnydale Tice returns uh, in that rotation uh, from a season ago last year as a, a first year, really leading uh, your team across the board statistically when it comes to, to, to that rotation. She led last year in appearances, games started, wins, innings pitched, strikeouts, ERA, uh, really uh, put into some big-time spots in her first year. Talk a little bit about her evolution, what you expect from her coming back and leading this staff in, in her sophomore year, and where are some other pieces that will complement her and kind of – uh, putting this staff together as a whole heading into the season. Yeah, so Sunnydale did a really great job, especially as the year went last year. I think a lot of those freshman nerves kind of got her at the beginning of the year, not understanding again, like at the plate, that you have to have a plan for each batter and that you got to keep the ball out of the red. Um, so she got hit a little hard at the beginning and um, was able to really learn from that. She's so coachable and wants to succeed, so she's consistently – putting in work, um, even when she's tired or doesn't really feel like it. Um, she is one of our loudest players. Um, she, I think at times, especially last year, let the lows get a little too low. Uh, so we're working on her consistency as far as her energy goes, uh, because she is someone that brings that for us. And when that's gone, everyone feels it. Um, so even outside of just her pitching itself, that is a big catalyst for our team. And then um, we've really worked to help develop her a little bit more of an off speed, change speeds better, um, help keep the hitters off balance. And then with her, we've got four freshman pitchers um, that I think are going to complement really well. They throw a different style than she does. Um, we have some that work a little bit slower um, of a pace. So they're going to take more time between pitches, help slow down the game, whereas Sunnydale is going to speed up the game. She's going to make you play at her pace. Um, and so I think that those will complement really well. And then we have a couple of girls that throw a little harder, a little bit more on the hands, some that throw more off speed down and out. Um, we don't have a single pitcher that throws the same. Um, they all have a different arsenal, and I think that's really going to help us out going into season, being able to, you know, when one of them's getting hit, you know, switch out and let the hitters see something different. So I'm excited about that. Well, that coach talked about the importance of everyone involved in this program now sort of understanding the expectation that she has set, uh, having her fingerprints on this program, her recruits within uh, the walls of those buildings there. So when you talk about change and the goals and the expectations uh, that you and other leaders on this team have for this 2024 season, Kenna, what have those conversations looked like? What is the expectation going into this year? And what's going to be key in order to try and accomplish those goals heading into this, this 2024 year? So coming into our junior year, um, my other upperclassmen, we really wanted to take uh, this initiative, this leadership very seriously, um, just because we know it's it's imperative and it's a key to success. Um, so we sat down, um, we've also had meetings with coach saying, like, what are your expectations? And we now know our expectations. We are the ones who set the, the intensity, the standard. Um, and I think that's what makes a really good leader is not really telling people what to do, but showing them, showing that this is what you can do. This is the intensity that we do it at to have success this, this uh, season. 
Um, so that's what we really, really wanted to focus on. I think we um, are really driving attitude and energy. Um, last year, I mean, that was all I could do was cheer. And I tried my hardest. I, everything that I did was, was cheer, um, even at the lowest. I was trying to be a positive attitude. And um, that's really all that we can do as leaders is be there for our teammates. Um, this team does not just take one person to win. It takes all of us. And um, we need a positive attitude, being there for each other, truly um, understanding and knowing that we, we have each other. And finally, Coach, wrapping things up with you, you know, success obviously can be quantified and measured in so many different ways. When when you talk about success within your group, what is that message that you try and deliver? How do you try to sort of quantify those successes? And ultimately, this this 2024 season will be successful if what plays out uh, on the diamond or off the diamond as well. So obviously, everybody wants to win games. That's that's why we're here. You know, it's why we play college athletics. We want to win. We want to feel the success of, of beating someone else. But I think the thing that we try to tie everything back to is life. Um, and so making adjustments and we are, we may lose games. We may get beat around sometimes, but if we can learn from that and not allow the same things to continue to beat us or to challenge us, then that's kind of where we define our success. Um, less so, you know, you can play your best game and lose. The game doesn't know who's supposed to win. And that's one of the beauties of sport. But if you can say you went out there, you played your best, you made the adjustments that you needed to make, and you still lost, that's not a loss. You don't lose, you win or you learn. And so being able to take those moments that are really hard and turn them into, okay, how can we get better? Do you feel like you gave it everything you had mentally and physically? And if you feel that way, it doesn't feel like a loss. We lost games last year that didn't feel like losses, that we truly – Put everything we had out there and injuries and illness and those things detrimented us but the record wasn't indicative of the things that we learned and how we went through the season and how tenacious my athletes were in just completing it uh, and so this year we want to see obviously we want to see more wins I, I mean, everybody does and that's one of the you know common goals but we haven't put a number on it because there's too many unknowns as far as what our opponents bring um and, and how the game changes. But again, our success is not just going to be measured in statistics. It is going to be measured based on their efforts, their attitudes, how they are as people, first and foremost. And that's our biggest thing that we try to drive home here at the University of Dallas Softball is we're going to be good people um, and we're going to learn about life and we're going to have a lot of fun along the way and hopefully win a lot of games. But um, but that's our, our biggest uh, measurement of success. University of Dallas head softball coach Christian Novak, along with junior leader Lizette Sosa, the University of Dallas will open up the 2024 campaign when the Crusaders take on Williams Baptist on February 9th. Coach Lizette, thanks so much for joining us today and best of luck as you head into the year. Awesome. Thank you so much.